Tim Witherspoon, Tony Tucker, Pinklin, Thomas, Tony Tubbs, also if they were motivated. Michael Dokes, Greg Page, Buster Douglas, these guys would be dominant champions today. In the tens, the Klitschkos would give them hard fights. But at their best, I'd pick most of the fighters from this group over the Klitschkos with confidence. I think Douglas and Dokes versus the Klitschkos are closer fights though. But I'd still take Douglas over Vitoli and will add by competitive decisions. I'd take Dokes over will add probably by Co. But think Vitali vs. Dokes is a closer fight that goes to a decision, I think Tucker, Witherspoon, Tubbs, Thomas and Page beat the Klitschkos decisively. I also think these guys are champions in pretty much all the pre-50s eras. Except for perhaps Joe Lewis's era, and even then. A lot of these guys had big weight advantages over Lewis, who weighed 200 pounds at his peak, so I can see. Some of these guys being too big for Joe, I think Lewis vs Dokes is close. But the rest of the guys were a lot bigger and all of them can really box. I think Joe was better than these guys P for P. But as is they'd be a bit too big for Joe, as there is a big difference between 200 pounds and 220 plus orbs all of. These guys would have beaten Jimmy Ellis in the late 60s or Floyd Patterson or Rocky Marviano in the 50s as they were much much bigger. Plus they were also incredibly athletic and skilled. They would have been highly competitive in the early OOS. They would be champions in the OOS after. Lewis. Retired. All these fighters had great level talent or higher and all of them were highly skilled as well. They were all world champions in their own era. The best among them was Greg Page at his peak, Tony Tucker was the second best, then Thomas they were unlucky to be born in such a competitive era. With so many talented fighters, greatness can come down to the luck of the draw. Liston was very lucky for instance to be born into such a weak era with fighters so much smaller than him. Had a Tony Tucker been born into that era instead, he would have been just as dominant the Klitschkos were. Lucky to be born into an era where the talent and skill level of the division was really low. Compared to the previous few decades, if the Klitschkos competed in the 80s or 90s they wouldn't be recognized as greats.